this has been a, a, a big night, and I think, if anything, it, it, it validates uh, people that have come before us and um, the people that will come after us. Um, this city has come a long, long way. That's right. Yeah. And, and, and that momentum is not stopping tonight. Yeah. So, um, I have uh, so many people to thank. I will, I will start with my family. Um, where's my mother? The, there she is right over there. Um, um, she'll be signing autographs later. The, the star of our, our, oh, she's shaking her head, no, she's not signing autographs. Star of our TV commercials, Mother, thank you so much for, uh, for being there with me um, most of your 93 years, so I appreciate you more than you know. Um, and, and I know my three boys are here, Tristan, uh, Casey, and Michael. Thank you all for sticking with me throughout this and every other campaign that I've dragged you through. Um, um, my brother Don is here. Don, thank you very much. I have so many friends here tonight. I see Travis and Tom and, and Terry's here. And so thank you all very much for, uh, for sticking with me these seven months. You know, I, you realize as a candidate when you, when you enter a race like this, you're not just taking yourself through it. You're taking your family and your close friends with you. And um, I acknowledge that and appreciate it more than any of you will know that, uh, that this, you, you do not do anything like this alone. And uh, uh, if, if there's a joy to be shared tonight, you all should share in, in your percentage. So thank you all very much. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, support for our campaign was very widespread, but I'm uh, appreciably grateful for the governor to come tonight. Governor Fallon, thank you very much for being here. Thank you. It, uh, it, it means a lot um, to our campaign to have the governor of Oklahoma uh, come by and, and uh, and, and be a part of this celebration. Uh, the um, campaign started seven months ago, and I know by some campaign standards, that's not a long campaign. It's long for me. Um, I like short, compact campaigns. And so, uh, you know, when we started this uh, last summer, um, I, um, I asked David Holt to be my campaign manager. And, uh, But um, what nobody knows, even David, was that I didn't have a second choice. Uh, so if he had said no, I'm not sure what I would have done from that point on. But David, thank you all for, for very much for your hard work and, and helping to, to drive this campaign forward. Uh, Tyler and Vicki and Ashlyn also were on the campaign staff. Would you guys raise your hand? Thank you all very much. Uh -huh. um, Jenna and Ashley and Christina, uh, Trevor, uh, Caleb, uh, were all part of the, uh, of the campaign team. I know Bill Greener and Tim Burney worked on the media. I thought our TV commercials were outstanding. We stayed positive every day of the campaign. And I'm very appreciative of the, of the professionalism that went into the TV work on there. Uh, Brenda Jones has been a part of my campaign teams on the public relations side for a long, long time. And I, wanna, I know Brenda's not here tonight, but I want to thank her in absentia. Um, I also want to thank the best city council in the United States. Yeah. Um, and um, I, I, I know Larry McAtee's here from Ward 3, and I've seen David Greenwell and Meg Salyer, and there's John and uh, Pat Ryan. I don't see Pat. There's Pat, Pat right over there. Thank you all very much for being here. And a round of applause for our city council. <laughs> So much. Um, this campaign ended up putting out over 3,000 yard signs in people's yards. Uh, that's got to be some sort of a record for a, for a, for a city campaign. Um, we had 850 people sign up to be on our neighborhood steering committee. And these are people that live inside the city limits that pledged to do their part to get their neighbors and friends to get out and vote on the, on the times when we needed them most. 
Um, we had over 200 volunteers working in the past few days. Um, and, you know, when it, when it all came down to the end, you know, I was a nervous wreck all day long. Um, uh, yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. I, I, I know what you meant. It just felt like there was so much riding on this election, you know. And, and you know, when you start your very first campaign, it, you know, it, it kind of feels like it centers on you. And then when you get to this point, you realize it's not about you. It's, it's about a lot more um, that uh, are represented. And so please share in this victory tonight. Uh, this is, uh, I, I think, a very important uh, juncture in Oklahoma City's history. Um, we have uh, been on a, a trajectory here of, of good news for you know, nearly 20 years. And uh, to a certain extent, a lot of the nation is, uh, is trying to figure out how Oklahoma City's doing it. And uh, uh, cross your fingers, they're gonna be envious of us for a long, long time to come. I know, I know very few, if any, of the city staff are here tonight, but I hope they will share in this victory. They have worked extremely hard and at certain times in this campaign have been under siege unnecessarily. Um, as far as tonight's event goes, um, it seems like everybody's having a really good time, so we should, we should thank Paige Gregory who helped plan the event, and then Norma and Ray are the owners of the Grill on the Hill. Let's give them a big round of applause. I am out of words, uh, but, but certainly uh, my, my, my heart uh, feels for every one of you who are emotionally involved in this campaign and uh, we're, we're sweating it out just like I was all day long and when 7 o'clock finally got here I thought I would take a deep breath and I didn't. It just, it just only intensified and it, it was only when you know, the votes started coming in and we started seeing numbers and we, we saw a very positive trend. Uh, that I think sent a very strong message that this city has a long, long way to go and we ain't done yet. Thank you all very much.